Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition where I was going to end the video and, or I did, I was just going to go to bed well actually I was going to edit that video because it's been a while since I put a video out and I'm going to edit that one and it was going to be great but it won't let me save <laughs> so uh, I was like okay oh come on usually there's a couple more I can get there you are <laughs> Anyway, we're going to keep going, I guess. <laughs> also, I did kill a Colossus in an effort to take me out of battle mode, which gave me enough XP to level up lift, not that you can tell because I'm a moron. I, I, you would think a shotgun would like hit in a better radius than this, but it is not the case. Okay, this is also the radius on that is supposed to be wider now, and apparently it isn't. Jeez. Oh. I'll I'll take it. I'm glitched out. Glitched out boyo. That's the last one. We should be able to reach the Solarian camp. I even omnigelled a bunch of things. How do we run? That's okay, we don't need to run. <laughs> Running's for losers. There's a storm brewing. Oh, also, you probably didn't see it earlier. Am I going the right way? Yes, okay. Um, but when we took out the double A guns, my Commander, Normandy flew by. Base, it looks like we're grounded. The Solarian captain can explain when you get here. Oh boy, we're locked in. Can't go anywhere. There's the Solarian camp. Looks like we're doing this before bed. So what are we supposed to do now? Stay put until we can come up with a plan. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA gun within 10 miles has been alerted to your presence. Oh, that's just great. What now? We stay put until the Council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? <laughs> You're all they sent? I told the Council to send a fleet. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? A 
Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the genophage. What's so important about curing this genophage? It was the solution to the Krogan problem. We introduced the genophage to the Krogan population after the uprising, to quell their numbers. Without it, the Krogan will quickly overrun the galaxy. And these Krogan follow Saren. Hmm. The Geth are bad enough, but a Krogan army. He'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly my thoughts. We must ensure that this facility and its secrets are destroyed. Destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, the Krogan will become unstoppable. We can't make the same mistake again. We are not a mistake. I'm surprised he doesn't break him in half. Be a problem? We already have enough angry Krogan to deal with. He'll be fine. I'll talk to him. I'd appreciate that, Commander. My men and I need to rethink our plan of attack. Can you give us some time? Go ahead, Captain. I'll come back soon. We won't be long, Commander. In the meantime, if you need any supplies, you can talk to Commander Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. Looks Curie. like things are a bit of a mess. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't be so worried if it wasn't for Rex. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. You think I should go talk to him? It wouldn't hurt. Well, it might actually. Just do it carefully. <laughs> I'll be careful. But be ready, just in case. I'm always ready. I don't really like that no matter what you do, you can't basically come out come out of that conversation sounding like you're don't trust Rex. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. I need to go talk to Rex. <laughs> He's firing guns off into the river. Look, buddy. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. I understand you're upset, but we both know Saren's the enemy here. He's the one you should be angry with. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. This isn't a cure, it's a weapon. And if Saren is allowed to use it, you won't be around to reap the benefits. None of us will. That's a chance we should be willing to take. This is the fate of my entire people we're talking about. I've been loyal to you so far. Hell, you did more for me than my family ever did. But if I'm going to keep following you, I need to know we're doing it for the right reasons. <laughs> dun dun dun! Rex, these Krogan are not your people. They're slaves of Saren, tools. Is that what you want for them? No, we were tools for the Council once. To thank us for wiping out the Rachni, they neutered us all. I doubt Saren will be as generous. All right, Shepard. You've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. Oh boy. Yay. I have only once renegated my way out of that. It is, for those of you who don't know, it is entirely possible to fail this and you have to fight Rex. I've never done it and I never will. Um, cause it's not that hard to avoid it. You have to, I think you have to get over 75% of either Paragon or Renegade, and you have to get his family armor. Um, and then he will listen to you. Otherwise, you have to fight him, and you have to kill him. Or he kills you. Uh, because the genophage is such a, it's such a touchy subject. Like, I, I mean, it's such a sensitive subject for everybody involved. Like, you know, it's such a controversial subject. And he's, he's like, oh, this kid, you know, he's like, I don't care about my people, blah, blah, blah. But in that moment, you see that, like, he never stopped caring. He just kind of put that away for a while, you know, like, he, he had to. Like, he, maybe he even, he himself even thought he stopped caring, but deep down he still did, you know. And this is a moment. But Shepard brings up a pretty good point where it's like, this cure is being used as a weapon to, like, make Krogan follow Saren and be a tool for him. And Rex brings up just like how the council used them. And besides, they're Saren, he's right, Saren's not gonna be as nice to them, nice air quotes, as the council was to um 
the Krogan. Ugh. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. His name is Rex, and we are all friends. So I'm not sure why you're weird about it. Your ability to calm that random Krogan. What? <laughs> anyway, I also really think the Solarian full body armor is really cool. They kind of look like the, the stereotypical gray alien. You know, from Mars or whatever. Nice work with Rex. I didn't think anything would calm him down. It won't be an easy fight, but we're ready when you are. My, my, my... Uh, what do you call it? My command circle here. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these soldiers seem well trained. Ooh. The upcoming battle frightens me, but I know Seren must be stopped. Greetings, human. I am Commander Greetings, Rintola. human. I can provide you with supplies for the upcoming mission. Let me see what you have. What little there is. Time to sell things. Just sold a heck ton of things. Oh, let's see. Hang on. Yes, Metagel. The Ella. Not that I really need them now, but I do like. Oops. I do like to collect. Oops. I don't remember how to sheath my weapon. Was that everyone? I think so. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert our ship's drive system into a 20 kiloton ordnance. Crude, but effective. Nice. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too well fortified for that. We'll need to place the bomb at a precise location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. It does sound a bit risky. Is there no other way? No, but I think we can work around that. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. It's a good idea, but your people are going to get slaughtered. We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. You expect me to commit one of my people to your command? We are all soldiers by trade. If your people are not prepared to face such a risk, would you really want them by your side? He's right, Commander. We can't do this without both teams at their best. I volunteer. No! Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? <laughs> I do love that line. It's a pretty iconic line from Ashley, in my opinion. Who would be better suited to the mission? Either of these two will do, Commander. Both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. <laughs> so, I usually pick this based off of the fact that I do need... Well, the fact that Ashley says I need Caden to help me arm the bomb, and he is a bit more of like a technical guy than she is, and we're the ones going to be carrying the bomb in and having to arm it. Um, whereas Ashley is a soldier, right? And her, like, you know, very tough, um, you know, high constitution, high fortitude, you know, uh, extremely good with all kinds of weapons type stuff is uh, very good for an assault ground force. So I usually have him take Ashley. I have had him take Caden before. Um, but I don't know. Um, people have, people will always pick, you know, this is extremely just based on personal preference, honestly, but people have really good arguments either way. Williams, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? 
Aye, aye, Commander. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? The Normandy's picking me up. How will your teams escape the blast? We will engage the Geth as long as possible. Once the bomb is in place, we will fall back to try and escape the blast radius. If we move quickly, we should be able to escape with acceptable casualties. If not, then our memories will live on as martyrs to a greater cause. You talk like this is a suicide mission. I won't lie to you, Commander. There is a chance none of us will survive this assault, even your team. But we do what is necessary. Uh, he's a very odd Solarian, because he is very much of a, of a fighter kind of guy, and generally Solarians prefer like the tactical recon type stuff, and like uh, tactical espionage stuff. Um, but later on, another Solarian does point out that Kirahi is a bit of a, a bit of an oddball. <laughs> but I love him; he's a good guy. Shadow seems clear enough. What would the other teams be called? Eigor, Manavai, and Jeto. They were the initial settlements on our first three colony worlds. They are at the heart of Solarian territory to this day. These names will remind my men what they are fighting for. They must have a personal stake in the fight if we are to have any chance of success. I want to know more about the bomb. How reliable is it going to be? Its reliability depends on the person arming it, but it will do the job. The drive system is highly impervious to damage from external sources. Once it has been armed, very little can stop it. The key is getting it into place and armed before the Geth can stop us. I'm ready when you are, Captain. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. We'll be fine. You'll see. Yeah, I just... Good luck. <laughs> this is also such a weird moment for me. Because it is, like, especially initially when I first played, it's very selfish. Because I did not want to send Caden off into danger, you know? Which is a bad command decision, honestly. And this is why you're not supposed to, like, have, like, liaisons with your, you know, with your command and all that stuff. But, like, um, I definitely think, like, Ashley would know that, right? Like, in the back of her mind, she would be like, I'm the one at risk because she doesn't want to sacrifice you know, the guy that she's, you know, falling in love with or whatever, you know, and, uh, that's not a, that's not good, it's not good, but I didn't say it was burden. Is there something you want to say, Chief? I, I don't know, it's just weird, going under someone else's command. I've got used to working with you. All of you. Don't worry, we'll see you on the other side. I know, I, it's been an honor serving with you, Commander. And it's just, oh, and Caden's trying really hard to be like, you know, Come on, you got this. We're gonna be good, you know? Like, that everything will be fine. It doesn't matter if we're not in the same unit. We are still a team. Watch each other's backs, keep your eyes open, and fight like I know you can. We'll all come out of this in one piece. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have come to trust each of you with my life. But I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concern. Here's an Independence Day speech. We are trained for espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden rats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. Before diplomacy, there were soldiers. Our influence stopped the Rachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. I love it. I love Our it. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line! Wow. Good luck, Commander. Woo. I hope we'll meet again. Me too, Kirihi. I salute you, my dude. Uh, I may have actually messed up. What I probably should have done is kept Ashley and brought her with me. Because I probably won't get the achievement for her this time around. <laughs> it's fine, I'm not too fussed about it. Um. And I'll definitely play again, so I'll definitely get the achievement another time. But, um... 
We're definitely bringing rat 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 Yep. <laughs> this is my go-to squad. Although, yeah. I want to get the neural shock one. Maybe. Maybe we do bring Caden and get the neural shock achievement. Uh, I should have saved. Oh well. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. And we will definitely do that. Sun, surf, sand, and geth. I bet they don't put that in the brochure. <laughs> this is my kind of vacation. Lots of scenery and lots of killing. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I don't usually talk to these guys, to anybody when I'm running around on this planet. <laughs> that was really funny. Sun, sand, surf, and geth, and he's- I didn't- I didn't take Rex for a scenery guy, but here we are. We learn something new every day. But, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and call this one here. It's a little bit short. Uh, but, it's okay. And actually, really quick, I will... Do I want to... No. Ooh, let's do that. And... It should be good. Yep, okay. So, yeah, I think I'm going to call this one here. But thank you all so much for watching. That's a, that's a whole lot of stuff that happens all at once. And two very big decisions are made. The, the one decision isn't like with, with Ashley versus Caden isn't like the biggest one yet. Um, but it does kind of set the stage for a big decision later. Um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And now is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So I want to say thank you to Reese Scalito, who is a tier two sapling patron over on Patreon. Thank you so much, Reese Scalito. And I want to say thank you to Scala Munger, who is also a tier two patron, sapling patron over on Patreon. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tier three. I don't know why I'm saying tier, because I don't think it works like that. Um, <laughs> tier three patron over on Patreon, a, a tree one. Tier tree. <laughs> so thank you so much, Christopher. Here is your extra special shout out for the eloquence for which I find myself lacking. But thank you so much for all your support. I really do appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching. Everybody else, you know, who's been watching, I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.